brothers and sisters. I know uh, some of us may be asking at uh, this not our usual time of ministry, of coming live on Facebook, but the Lord God Almighty asked us to come today because there is an unfinished business during the last broadcast. The Lord said there are people that are crying secretly concerning what is happening in their dream life. They are going through filthy dreams. And the Lord said he wants to specifically touch them. And that's why he came. And he said, I should tell you that Jesus is here right now. Jesus is here right now. He is here to meet your needs and to set the God. It's going to be a very short broadcast. By the grace of God, we intend to spend just 20 minutes. The Lord mentioned to us in the last broadcast concerning filthy dreamers. If you open to the book of Jude, chapter 1, it has only one chapter. Jude chapter 1. 
There are some cases the Lord wants to address this particular thing. Look at verse 8. Jude chapter 1 verse 8. Yes. Likewise also. He said likewise also. These filthy dreamers. These filthy dreamers. Defy the flesh. Defy the flesh. Despise dominion. Despise dominion. And speak evil. And speak evil. Of dignities. Of dignities. Beloved, the Lord is saying that some of his children that are going through filthy dreamers. In your dream, spirits come to defy you, to sleep with you. You are a child of God, you love God, but the Lord said you are going through this yoke. As a daughter, he said when you are pregnant and these filthy dreamers come, at the end of it, you discover that you lose your pregnancy, you bleed. And some of you, after these filthy dreamers come, you can't even have a proper sexual life with your husband or with your wife. You become withdrawn. The Lord said that part of your life must be dealt with today Amen. because it can affect your holiness living. It can affect you living a holy life. Your prayer life will be drained. You cannot flow with the Holy Spirit. You cannot even fulfill your destiny. And the Lord said we should deal with it. Beloved, the Lord told me that there are some things that could have led to this future dreamers having access into your life. He said one of it is in the area of your sexual life. I don't know how you are with your husband or with your wife, but there are some things you do sexually that attract these evil spirits. One of it is in the area of oral sex. It is filthiness to have oral sex. One of it is in the area of maybe you watch pornography as couples, you want to improve your sexual life. You are inviting demons because the people that you are watching, they are serving the devil. The mother of Harlot is the one sponsoring them. Some of them take drugs, they take steroids to be able to stand the time and be able to have the kind of sex that they have just because they want to worship the devil. When you look at the Bible, you go from Exodus chapter 32. There is no time when you go home, later on, you can read the book of Exodus chapter 32. You will see that before they began to worship the golden calf, they had sex. Sex is the praise and worship in the realm of the spirit of the devil. In the kingdom of darkness, when they want to perpetrate evil, they must have sex first. And that is why a child of God must not be the channel for them to operate in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. Get ready for prayer because we are going to pray. It's going to be a quick one. Galatians chapter 6, 7, and, seven eight. and 8. Yes. Be not deceived. But say, be not deceived. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth. Whatever a man soweth. That shall. Many of us have been reaping from our filthy sowing. That shall he also reap. What we have been sowing sexually, we have been to reap them. What have we been sowing? We have been sowing into pornography, sowing into fornication, into sodomy into sexual dressing, sexy dressing. There's a way you dress, you attract evil spirits to you. Because sex, a sexual dressing, sexy dressing has a way of communicating to people to tell what is in your mind. And so the Lord is telling us that all those seeds we sowed, they have a way of producing a sexual activity in the night. Look at verse 8. What does it say? For he that soweth to his flesh he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. The flesh will make you to reap corruption. Yes? For he that soweth to the spirit he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life in because eternal. you have been reaping to the sowing to the flesh. Sowing to this evil sexual activities. That is why you are reaping it in the tree. We get weak in the night. The night time is a very crucial time. It's a time when God reveals dreams, reveals secrets, gives songs to people. And when you use your life in the night to have this sexual intercourse with demons and evil spirits, it affects your life. It affects your destiny. You wake up in the morning, sudden sickness from nowhere, your body is weak, they are not normal. Even some of the dreams you that God even wants to speak to you. If a demon comes to sleep with you in the night, you will even forget the dream by the morning time. And that dream may need to be addressed. And when you forget a dream and you cannot address it, it can begin to work in your life. The Lord is going to deliver us in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Sometimes, people you may have had sex with, and you made vow when you were on this, on, the, on this pleasure of your sex. You made vows. You say you are my life. You are my this. You you make covenant with, with somebody in sexual bed. It can come in form of a demon in the night to begin to torture you in, in, your, in your life and you begin to have sex with them. Sometimes you even want to resist, but don't want to resist. You just find yourself going through with it. At the end of the day, you feel empty, you feel dirty, you feel that you're no longer a Christian. Your salvation becomes at stake. By the special grace of God, after the broadcast, there are going to be some phone numbers there, and, and, you know, at the end of it, for you to be able to come for counseling and prayer. But for now, we are going to go into prayer. But take note, if you look at the book of Matthew chapter 12, Matthew 12, 43 to 45, the Bible says it is better for you not to go through deliverance. Because if after you are delivered and you go back to committing these sins, the Bible says if seven demons came out, they will go, each of the demons will go and bring seven more. It will not become seven times seven, 49. The Bible says the state of the person will be worse than before. If they were sleeping with you maybe twice in a week, it may not become every day, even afternoon sleep, they will sleep on. Your life will not be good. That is why you have to decide today that you are going to surrender your wardrobe. You can no longer dress like the people that you are watching. You can no longer have that relationship with those people that you are having before. You can no longer do oral sex as a married man, married woman. You cannot do all those sexual styles. They even call it names. They, they, they call some dog style, horse style, all manner of satanic names. You cannot indulge. It is filthy. Those are filthy names. They are works of the flesh. Children of God, they have their own way of having their sexual intercourse with their husband or with their wife. We are not like the world. And so we are going to pray because our time is a short time. But you over there, you have a whole lot to do in this deliverance. What you have to do is to say, Lord, I surrender all. As you are about to pray, wherever you are, I want you to lift up your hands to the Lord. And begin to pray. Lift up your hands to the Lord and begin to pray. And begin to say, Father, thank you for having out time for me to heal. You not cap that time. It's a, it's a special time. He camped out this time. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, have mercy upon me. I never knew about oral sex, as it was a sin. I never knew about all these things I went into. I never knew that my dress could attract these demons. Lord, today I ask for mercy. I repent. Open your mouth and begin to pray wherever you are. Lord, I repent of all my sexual activities. And I'm not brought glory to your name. I repent today. I surrender today. Open your mouth and cry to God. Surrender yourself to the Lord. Lay your life on the altar. I say, Lord, I sacrifice my life on this altar. I bow before you, Lord God Almighty. I ask for your mercy. Wash me. Wash me by your blood. Wash me by your blood. Cleanse me by your blood. Lord God Almighty, I need your mercy today. I don't want to continue in unrighteousness. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are going to pray a prayer of submission. Come to the book of James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourself to the law. Before you can resist the devil, you have to submit yourself to the law. You are going to leave the word up to the Lord and say, Father, Father I submit myself to you today. Take all of me. Take all of me. I don't reserve any part of my life. Every area of my life, take over. I submit myself to you, Lord. It's a total surrender. I submit myself to you, Lord. Have mercy on me and take over my life. Be my Lord, be my master, be my ruler, be my controller, be my instructor, be my all in all. I surrender, Lord, I submit to you. I submit to your word. I submit to righteousness. I submit to holiness. I submit to your way. I submit to God, to everything that you have said in your word. I submit in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. I'm going to say, Father, Father today, today, 
Hold my hand, Lord. As I make this declaration, Lord. Back me up. Back me up, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Now open your mouth and say, Satan. Satan, I denounce you. I denounce you. I divorce you. I divorce you. Every relationship I have with you. Every relationship I have with you. Sexually. Sexually. From my past. From my past. In my present. In my present. I break it today. I break it today. I tear the certificate. I tear the certificate. I enter into the computer room. I enter into the computer room. Of all information. Of all information. Concerning my sexual life. I command it to be destroyed. I command it to be destroyed. I render it null and void. I render it null and void. I no longer have connection with you. I no longer have connection with you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, quickly, open your mouth. I remember anybody that you made covenant with, blood oath. Anybody you made blood oath with. Anybody that you you, you made a covenant, you made an oath with on the sexual bed. Anybody you know that you are a soldier, you are going to call the name and say, I separate. I separate from this person. I break up from this person. I don't have any more sexual connection with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Call the name of the person. Don't ever close your mouth wherever you are. And separate yourself and break that relationship in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to seal up this prayer right now with the blood of Jesus. Every decree was how you seal it. We are going to seal it with the blood. My only is to agree with you in prayers. I am your prayer partner. I came to agree with you. You are the world. You are the world that is coming out. You are the one who is breaking the relationship. With the devil sexually. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. He is the one that is dealing with your past. He is dealing with today. He will defend your tomorrow. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I want to agree with you in prayer. Can you join your two hands together like this? Join your two hands together like this, like you are praying. There is an agreement with us in the realm of the spirit. The Lord said, I should not agree with you. He is the one that will do the work. The Bible says, it is he that walketh in us. What do we have to do? He is the doer of this deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name, we have agreed. Amen. Father, I agree with that your sons. I agree with that your daughter over there. Concerning filthy dreamers, I say, Father, from today, let it end in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every filthy dreamer that comes to this son, that comes to this brother, that comes to this daughter, to come and defile, to come and corrupt, and still have miracle, and still have blessing, and contaminate her seed, and contaminate her married her bed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command it to cease. Amen. Stop. I'm 
let them begin to walk with God. Whatever you have, begin to lift your voice and pray for Sing a song of deliverance. Sing a song of freedom. And the love of the shadow that they are. You are free at last. You are free at last. By the blood of Jesus. You are free at last. By Calvary. You are free at last.